Hello and uh, welcome back to another video from trainingright.com. In this uh, short video, I'll be showing you as how to quickly install a Ruby on your machine. Well, uh, to do that, first of all, we got to go and then download a Ruby. So let's go to Google and uh, type uh, download Ruby. Oh, when you do that, it's going to take you to uh, this site, Download Ruby. It is basically uh, the site from where you could download different versions of Ruby um, for different platforms. Um, so if you uh, scroll down a little bit, this will tell you um, if you need to download, um, let's say, on a Windows machine versus if you want to download on the other machines, um, let's say, like a Linux uh, platform or Apple Mac. Um, or if you want to go with the uh, Sun Solaris. All right, so in our case, uh, we're going to be going with uh, what is called uh, um, installing on Windows. So what they have is um, to install it on Windows, they have what is called a Ruby installer. It is uh, like an MSI file or it's like a setup program which helps you to do that. So uh, for that, you have to just go and then click on this uh, Ruby installer download page. Uh, that's gonna bring you um, to this page. Uh, this page might um, look uh, slightly different to you um, when, depending on when you're gonna be looking at it, uh, because right now uh, they are uh, as uh, of the recording of uh, on this day, which is uh, uh, December 9th of 2012. Uh, the latest version is Ruby 1.9.3. Now, I've been working on different versions, so I, I worked on 1.9.2, I worked on 1.8.7, so um, let us uh, go ahead and then download this. So when you click on that, uh, it'll uh, download, as you can see here, uh, do you want to run or save um, to download this? Well, I have already uh, saved it, um, so let me show it to you where I have saved it. Uh, as we go in our C drive, we have different training programs. So I kind of like saved it in my uh, Ruby training folder. All right. So coming back here, I could uh, go and uh, uh, run it right now. So here I go. I'm, I'm, I'm going to run it. Um, when I run it, the first screen which is going to pop up is basically uh, asking you to accept the license. Um, so we accept the license. After that, uh, click Next. It is telling you where exactly this is going to install. So if you see here, it says that uh, the setup will install Ruby 1.9.3 um, into the following folder. So it is going to do it on a C drive. So I would rather want it to install it on my Ruby training folder. So I'm going to go down over here and select my uh, Ruby training uh, folder. All right, so it is going to do it in that folder. Now, uh, notice that we have these three uh, things which we could check. Uh, what this is going to do, uh, if I check this, basically it is going to install um, uh, like a GUI. Um, I could I could um, build like GUI applications if I check this. If I, it, that, is, that is going to install a, a kind of like an ID for me to help uh, build uh, GUI applications. Now the second one is uh, add Ruby executables to your path. Um, now, if you um, see on your machine, if you go to control panel and then if you go to your um, system and go into your advanced settings, uh, uh, these are environment variables. On these environment variables, if you see, there is uh, uh, the path, right? If you see here, I have the path. So basically what this would do is it would go in and then it, it would automatically write into the path. And the reason for that is... Uh, if, if it uh, writes it into the environment variable path, uh, then basically what happens is I would be able to go ahead and then execute that uh, from anywhere on my machine. So I would like to do that, so I select that. A third um, option is uh, to associate an RB or uh, Ruby files uh, um, for this Ruby installation. With this, what happens is if you, wherever you find, you save your RB files, uh, you could just double click on that and then that is going to execute. So I would like to have that. Um, so uh, the whole thing is not going to take anything more than 35 megabytes. So here we go. Uh, we are going to go ahead and then install this. As you can see right now, uh, um, Ruby version 1.9.3 is being installed on my machine. 
Well, um, now once this installation is going to be complete, uh, then in our future videos, uh, I'm going to be showing you as how to write um, some basic uh, uh, programs, Ruby programs. All right. Until then, uh, sit tight um, and um, wait for our other uh, videos on Ruby series. Thank you.